Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on non-Euclidean spaces in Minecraft. Uh, if you saw my other video, I'll probably have an annotation here, uh, link back to it. Like, boop, clicks, probably there, or maybe it's there, I don't know. But, um, so, I thought first I'd just show you another one I've made. So, I'll start this up. So, it's fairly obvious what it's going to do. Uh, it's going to go in that one, come out that one. But I thought it was kind of a neat effect. Um, so we've got like glass and it you vertically go up one. So uh, you come out that side, you can go back. Looks fine. And just to show that it actually does come out higher up. Uh, let's fly over here. Okay, so that actually wasn't as laggy as normal. Uh, let's turn that off. We should use a better clock, but I tried using like a piston to turn it off, and it just extended the pulse. So I don't know. Anywho, I'm going to show you how to make one of these. So first, we'll need a room. For now, I'll probably stick with just a simple. Let's do like a corridor. So it doesn't really matter how long. Um, make it one wide for now. This would just be the kind of the most basic one you can do. So uh, let's build that up. Make it extremely simple. So it's going to be a corridor, and then we're going to have ones going off to the side like this. So, the key is um, making it look. You have to repeat the room. So, what I mean by that is say we had a glowstone at each side of the room, then we basically just copy this entire thing and shift it down. We'd have to build the entire thing just enough that uh, when you're walking, you don't uh, like notice that it's not the same room. Um, in fact, we probably want to make the corridor a little bit longer because of that. So, like, to probably f four maybe long. I mean, the key is to make sure that because we can't have to teleport here, we have to have it here. So. Like that'll probably do. That'll probably be fine. So um, and then we just repeat this bit from here over here. So bit, uh, a bit of glowstone and just all that in. It's important that the lighting is symmetrical as well. So um. Okay, so that's the room done. I've just left this um, open just to make it easier to work with, but obviously you'd have it closed or whatever in the final version. Um, so let's go on to the rest zone. What you need is a clock, which is a fairly simple design. It's just two repeaters with a monostable input. It just creates pulse. It's basically just this. Oh, God damn it! Weather. Okay, and then we'll get our command block. We need to check the positions of where we want our teleport. So it's gonna be first one's gonna be here. Our teleport. So it's oh, minus nine two two five. Okay. Oh eight five nine. So I'm just using that as kind of a notepad. Um, and then the other one that will need to move us. Uh, the, the, the eight and five. Okay, so let's just test that first. 
So the command is, uh, by the way, I've done game rule to make sure it doesn't show up in the thing. I've done game rule command block output false. Which just means that like it won't output to the chat thing unless you use the say command. Anyway, um, basically tp at p targets the nearest player. And then we have some parameters we put in which is... The x, y, and z coordinates, which are these. x equals minus 922. Two. y equals. These will be different for you, obviously. Then r equals 1 for the range. And then the amount we want to move by, 805. So use the tilde to specify relative positioning. 8. Zero five. I probably made a mistake, but I'll just test this. Okay, you know, I had it in the complete wrong place. Um, so basically, I just want to move that that way. So I think it adds half a block or something. So basically, minus eight sixteen. These things do require a lot of fiddling about and stuff. So. Boop. Okay, let's test that. That works. Then we'll do the other one, which is we minus nine one four minus eight five two. So I'll just copy this. And then these will just be uh, the exact opposite. So minus, minus. So let's test this out. Um, yeah, some directionality like biases, but okay, this should work. Boop, boop. And if we block it up, it should look pretty much seamless. Um, of course, you'll get the teleport glitchy things, but. Then you can do the old throw the item to prove that it's okay. Um, let's go over some restrictions with these. Obviously, like if you you can't do it like in straight line, of course. Because they're not actually portals, they're just teleports. Um, you can't change direction, so you can't have like one corridor go like this, and that links into a corridor that goes like that. You have to have there's no rotations on the teleports, basically. Um, yeah, I think that's that's about it. The basics. Um. If I find any way to do rotations, I will post that. Or well, if they add that, I'll show some stuff with that. But um, apart from that, yeah. So vertical, you can teleport vertically. Don't forget that. I can, you can do some cool effects with that. And um, basic tutorial. Uh, to be careful with doing the vertical stuff. That I don't think falling ones will work because it resets your velocity. But so yeah, the other thing is um items, so it's kind of obviously like doesn't work. Uh but I mean sometimes it can enhance the illusion like fall through and saw it, but if you can actually see the other bit, it can be a bit jarring. That's why it's generally good to place them like around corners. Like that's what I did with the that one that one. I think that's all for the tutorial. If you want to see more, just subscribe, post in the comments. Especially if you've got any more questions, I'll probably answer them in the comments. Uh, but that's all for now. Bye, guys.